This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar showing how to use HDR media in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the new HDR Tools effect. The other tool that I want to illustrate is HDR Tools, and it's inside the Effects Browser. I'll go up to the very top, select all video tools, do a search for HDR, and there it is. I'll add it to the clip in just a second. If we look at the clip, we're in an HLG project. Our white levels are a little bit over 100%, and we can see the zebras, which are marching here, where the highlights are too high. I'll turn on color grading and pull the white levels down until the zebras disappear. So now our range is inside the acceptable range for an HLG project. And because it emulates SDR, it must be between 0 and 100 on the waveform monitor. Now I'll turn off range check just to keep ourselves from getting confused. It's the view menu inside the viewer. What HDR tools allows me to do is to convert footage from one format to another. In other words, I can convert HDR to Rec. 709 or PQ to a tone map or HLG to PQ or PQ to HLG. So if I shoot one format and need the other, I would apply HDR tools to convert it. Let me give you an example of converting to a Rec. 709 project. I have the video with HDR tools applied. Now I'm going to change the project setting, Command J, and switch it from 2020 HLG to Rec. 709 and click OK. Look what I didn't need to do. I didn't need to touch my color grade because it's been tone mapped, converted using HDR tools from an HDR format to Rec. 709. This vastly simplifies the work that I have to do in my color grade. Now when I go to my color board, I can just pull my whites up or down a little bit, adjust my mids just a little bit, but really the color grade I did for HDR converts almost perfectly into Rec. 709. Again, we still need to do a trim pass, but HDR Tools makes this process of converting from one format to another a whole lot easier. In general, I would recommend if you're shooting HDR material, do an HDR color pass first, assuming you have to deliver an HDR master. Once that's done, then go back and do an SDR pass, because I think it's easier to step down from an HDR color grade to SDR than to step up from an SDR color grade to HDR. So do your main deliverable color grade first, then create a duplicate project, apply HDR tools, and do a trim pass to create the SDR secondary master. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on how to use HDR media in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 273. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.